Hello, welcome back to another video on Vedic Astrology. In this video, I am going to talk to you about the yoga, the planetary combinations that lead one to the state of imprisonment, the experience of a jail. You all know that the 12th house is the most important house when it comes to imprisonment. Uh, that is because it is the house that takes us away. The 12th house is the house of loss. So going away, uh, you know, losing everything and being confined, all this is a matter pertaining to the 12th house. So back planets in the 12th house is the first signal of the possibility of imprisonment. But before going into all this, I would like to tell you that one single rule or two, two rules, etc. is not sufficient to take a person to prison. There are lot many other conditions that has to be first fulfilled. There are two things that must happen to Saturn if, if imprisonment ever has to have, take place and that is uh, Saturn must be afflicting certain houses that are connected to imprisonment, maybe. And in most cases you will find that Saturn is also weak and in the wrong place. Sri Mahadeva in this uh, extraordinary book Jataka Tattva said that if there is a back planet in the second house and then simultaneously in the fifth house and in the ninth house, then imprisonment is indicated in the horoscope. What should a person having such a combination do? He must be aware that he can be imprisoned and uh, try to reach out to God before all this happens and do a lot of charity. And uh, number two, try not to do those things that usually get human beings into prison. Prison is the last place that a person would like to be in because we are born free and uh, the opposite condition is imprisonment. So, let us verify the rule that has been given by Jataka Tattva, by Sri Mahadeva. And uh, I have the horoscope of uh, the actor Sanjay Tath, who was jailed for uh, 18 years. He's a great time actor, or of talents, but as we go through this horoscope, you will find out what exactly went wrong. Before that, I would like to tell you that the rules of astrology were written a long time ago. And the, these people are all born recently and uh, it is not that I made up this horoscope. You can easily Google uh, Sanjay Dath horoscope and check if I have got the right horoscope. And uh, you can also Google Jataka Tattva and, uh, you know, combinations for uh, Bandhana Yoga, which is the imprisonment yoga, and find whether what I have said is the truth. Now, I take this uh, method to prove astrology because uh, there is no way to prove karma except by the yogis and by the ones who have realized, have attained self-realization. For all other people, karma is just a theory. But, but the study of horoscopes can actually prove karma. And once karma is proven, then we all will be very careful with our lives and we will not play with life. So, let's look at this horoscope and see what are the conditions that have been the cause are the indicators of the imprisonment that Sanjay Dutt went. This is the horoscope Sanjay Dutt and this is the ascendant, the Latna, which is always has a special mark like this because this is the first house. And this is the second, the third, fourth, fifth and so on. Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleven and twelve. You can see that Jupiter appears to be in the twelfth, but in the Bhava chart he has moved, he has moved into the first house. So actually Jupiter in the Bhava chart will be here. Because the law of the fifth, the plat, the house that is related to cinema, is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter occupies the first house, making this person a famous uh, actor. Also Moon, exalted in the sun, will make a person very famous and has a great fan following. And uh, you can also see the presence of Mars and Venus in the tenth house, which is also where Venus is the character of uh, movies, entertainment, and that is in the 10th house. So that all the conditions for a successful actor has been fulfilled here. But if you recall the rule given by Mahadeva and Jadaka Tattva, he says a bad planet in the second house. And look uh, who is here. It is Saturn, the number one planet for imprisonment. So always watch out for Saturn in the second house. Most people who have Saturn in the second house have had ups and downs in life. Sometimes they were very rich and sometimes they became very poor. For example, Gandhiji had sat in the second house. 
but uh, he always exhibited himself in a state of poverty and he always appeared to be along with the poor and he never amassed wealth. So it looks like if uh, people in, with Saturn the second go after wealth, there is always a possibility of imprisonment. Also you find Jawaharlal Nehru had Saturn in the second house and uh, they were all freedom fighters. And why is Saturn in the second uh, so powerful? Uh, for example, even uh, Jayendra Saraswati had Saturn in the second house, which also got him into trouble with the law. So we find that Saturn the second is always a great indicator. And uh, that may be because Saturn uh, aspects the fourth house, the particular this house. This is a house of home and comforts, and going to jail is just taking you out of the comfort zone. Your vehicles, your home, your mother, motherland, everything you leave behind and go to jail. So this is also uh, one of the main reasons why Saturn the second is so powerful. And uh, going by Jagat Dattu's uh, rule, find that Ketu is occupying the fifth house. Whenever Rahu and Ketu are on the fifth and eleventh, there is uh, the possibility that the person may be a, a, a lot into addictions. So this person was addicted to drugs, but he finally may, managed to come out of it. But this is actually a hallucinating. Uh, hallucinating planet. Usually people get into smoking, drinking, drugs, whenever you find Ketu and Rahu on the 5 and 11, but this is not, uh, this has not happened to all the people in this world. It all depends on so many other planetary combinations. But Ketu and Rahu on the 5th and 11th axis is usually an indicator of hallucinating or imagining things that are not there and going after the dream, dream world goes well with actors and those who are in the entertainment business or in sports. And then you find in the ninth house you have Mercury and the Sun and uh, Sun is a very powerful uh, natural malefic. So you, f you, you find that the basic conditions have been fulfilled here. The second house one bad planet, K2 in the fifth and Sun in the ninth. Exactly like what it has been said in uh, Mahadeva's uh, Chakra In the same way Saturn in the second Saturn the 8th can also mean the same thing. For example, Saturn the 8th, if Saturn was here, then it could have looked at the second house. So even that could also take a person to prison. Another combination is if you have Saturn in the 12th house. From wherever your Lagna is, if Saturn is in the 12th house, it is possible. Or if Rahu is in the 12th, it is possible because both Saturn and Rahu are planets for imprisonment. And in the case of Nelson Mandela, you find that Rahu is in the 12th and Saturn is in the 8th, looking at the second house. Astrology is all about noticing patterns. In the ancient times, the sages were just looking up into the sky and always looking for a pattern. Is there a relationship between the positions of planets and what's happening on Earth? And uh, of course, they got the right answers. This is just about patterns. In case you know of any horoscope that has bad planets in the second house and the fifth and the ninth and they went to prison, Please uh, submit those details in the comment section because uh, not only I can learn from it, but the whole world can learn. In most cases of uh, imprisonment or police problem due to uh, the problem created by a spouse, wife makes a complaint to the police, you will find that the seventh house lord is also linked with uh, the twelfth or uh, maybe the seventh lord is afflicted by Saturn and Rahu or Saturn is looking at uh, the seventh house lord or the seventh house. So any interrelationship between the 7th and the 12th along with Saturn and Rahu is a threat that your spouse may complain against you. If you have these combinations, then all it means is that you will have to do horoscope matching prior to your marriage so that all these things will not happen and you must be aware that you may be imprisoned. So one of the best remedies for preventing uh, imprisonment happening in your life is to release birds, animals and uh, maybe fish kept in captivity. If you find a small aquarium, the fish is struggling, there you just bite out and then release the fish into fresh water. If you find uh, a goat is about to be butchered, uh, buy, the, buy the goat just before it is butchered and give it to a person who will take care of it. Releasing birds kept in captivity is a wonderful remedy. It's basically you are trying to do the opposite of uh, imprisonment. You are giving freedom to others. In the same way, you can also speak about freedom for others, fight for freedom for others, all those people who are poor and poverty-stricken, try to find, uh, give them relief, 
give them freedom and uh, work for the freedom. And uh, in case uh, you find the combinations for imprisonment very strong in your horoscope, it is better to do some jail projects wherein you reach out to a big organization like a Rotary Club or Lions Club and become part of it and then try to do a project within the jail. I hope you have learned a few things from this video and uh, please let me know of your comments and your questions in the comment section below and whenever I find the time I will answer them for you. I am planning to do a lot more videos on special topics like this and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and thank you for watching this video.